hello this is another post another video of my travails with antivirus XP 2010 quick recap if you haven't seen the first one I've got Microsoft security essentials up to date I've got Microsoft Windows firewall and I've got Microsoft XP operating system which is on automatic updates and it's fully up to date so I was just surfing the internet and this nasty little program latched onto my computer, installed on my computer. I did a full Microsoft Security Central scan and it didn't detect it. So this thing is popping up left, right and centre. It's slowing down my computer. It's a nasty, nasty little program. Oh look, another little thing. Tracking software found. Your privacy is being monitored. Oh my god, oh my god, quick buy our product. Give us your money, give us your money, give us your buy insurance, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's a very slick, very good looking program. It's got the little shield there that looks like Microsoft. It's got the little shield down there. You know, as I say, it's a very slick looking program and all it wants is your money and it'll give you nothing in return. Wouldn't be at all surprised if it's associated with the Republican Party in the United States of America, but that's for another post. Um, so, we just close this, but it'll just keep on popping back up. We close that. And we'll try and open Malwarebytes, shall we? See if we can open Malwarebytes, try and get rid of this nasty little thing. Trust me, I've done this. Without, it doesn't open. That doesn't open. So I'll then open. Oh, look, another thing. Here we go. System integrity theft. My God, do you want to block this attack? Yes. So you click on yes. Oh, purchase full version. Give us your money. Give us your money. Give us your money. There we go. Give us your money. Nasty, nasty little people. So you then try and open advanced system care. Okay, now, I haven't used this program for a month or so, or maybe even longer. And it says there's a, an updated version. It usually just pops up, but there we go. So you try and click on that. And what have we got? What's going to happen? Quick, quick, you are infected. Danger, 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 danger. Yeah, you're infected by this nasty little program. So you close all that down. And there we go, we're on that. Thing. So you want to download the free one, let's see if this will get rid of uh, all our stuff, so you download that, and then some, this is even taken over, as if you the other post, it's taken over your um, firewall, it's taken over your security centre, because you can't adjust things in your security centre, so it's even taken over this, let's see if what happens, continue surfing, see it just won't let you, it won't let you go on, because I, I guess it realises you're trying to get rid of it, so it won't let you do anything. Just, that's it. All stopped. Trust me, I've tried this again and again and again to try and get this um, advanced system care. No joy. Um, I've also uh, scanned it using the th version 3.4.2. Apparently the latest version is 3.5. And it said it came up with loads of problems. It says it fixed them all, but it most certainly didn't get rid of this nasty little parasite. Um, this nasty little power site here, see, it scanned it, it's got rid of problems, but it's still there, still on my computer. Luckily I've got another computer, so I've gone online and seen how to remove it manually, but I'm going to try a few other automated versions. Um, I put these programs on a USB stick and transferred it over to this computer, so I'm now going to try and open Malwarebytes. This is the latest program, it'll probably have to update, but we'll see if it opens. Nope, it won't open, so um, I don't really want to do that advanced system care because I don't hold much stock in it. I mean, it's okay, but it's all bells and whistles and nothing much else. Um, and seeing as the other version didn't even touch it, I doubt that one will. But I'll try it as a last resort. The only other one I did try, and I've already done this, is Spybot. Now that did open and it did install. And I've already now, so I've just done that on my computer. So we'll go to Spybot. There we go. It's all the way down there. Open up Spybot. So if why Spybot manages to load, but Malwarebytes doesn't, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not. I actually think Malwarebytes is quite a good program. It's fast. It's thorough, and it's 
found a few things on my system before so and then you have to search for updates once you've installed it always good to do a little immunize and um, you know, check for problems I can't remember why I stopped using Spybot um, I honestly can't remember why I stopped using Spybot but I did, I stopped using it about six months ago and uh, all the time I was using it I never had any problems so more fool me for getting rid of it really and here we go it's running and let's hope it does it if it doesn't I won't do another post if it does I'll uh, I'll post and show the results all the best bye bye